All right, so welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to start really exploring the basics of the Python language. And we'll begin by just a quick review of what we learned so far. Um, we have a print statement up here, and we're calling a print function that's part of uh, the built-in system library of Python. And that, whatever you put in here, comes out down here in the console. And that's going to allow us to test and debug things, but it's also going to allow us to make a simple little application here. And we've learned about variables, and we've created uh, three of them here. Now, there's rules about variables uh, that you might want to look up and research uh, as a developer. Like, for example, you don't want to uh, put odd characters in variables and things like that. So numbers and, and characters and so forth. <clears throat> and remember that each variable has a type. So this is a float, this is an integer, and here we have a string variable. And here we're printing the variable out. So let's say, for example, we know we want days to increment. We can come down here, and I can make a, a comment here that says increment days. And this comment is just by using the pound uh, character here, and that's a shift three on most keyboards. And you can see it's gray here, and so this does not execute, but we can use it to document our code. And um, it's good to use that as you go along, uh, so when you come back and look at it, you know what it does. So here we're going to increment our day, and we can say day equals day plus one, like that, and we'll print the day out. Like that. Now I will say our, our final um, idle game that we're going to make eventually won't have days. It's going to just be a game that runs. But um, for our first game that we're making, we're using uh, a, like a next turn or the next day thing that is in some tycoon games because uh, that's going to let us uh, teach some of these basic Python statements a little easier than a, a running idle game. So we, we'll get to that in future lectures. So let's go ahead and run this, and you'll see that our day now is at 2. And if we just copy and paste this code, just copy and paste, you'll see that this is how, you know, it's just going to keep incrementing it up. We also can do the same thing with money. So we can say money equals money plus an amount, 5. And I'll just cop, cut and paste this down here so we can just see that we've taken our $25 and made it 30. So again, we're covering the basics, just so anybody who's really new is going to understand variables, storing them, and changing them or adding to them. So if you buy something, so let's say we're going to buy a store, what are we going to do to buy a store? Well, you know, idle games like Adventure Capitalist, as you click and uh, you know, you, you make money and then you purchase new stores and um, then that of course means you're going to make more money each turn or each cycle as the game runs. So what we're going to need is a variable to store the count of our stores, and, you know, just like another variable. So I'd like you to now maybe pause this video uh, in this lecture and try yourself to create a new variable to hold the number of stores that we're going to have and then to increment that and buy a store just using a standard uh, statement like what we've learned so far. So you're basically going to need to write two statements. One um, to create the initial variable for the number of stores that are owned and then another variable to increment that. Okay, well hopefully you pause and try to do that yourself. And hopefully my instructions were clear, so that wouldn't be the problem. And of course, I apologize there, I had a little bit of a hang up problem. And I'll try to remember to remove it uh, in the edit. So um, getting back here, what you're going to have to do here is create a variable to hold the number of stores. So I'm just going to call it store count equals zero. We'll start out with no stores. And then when we buy a store, we're going to need to say store count 
equals store count plus one. Now, I'm using this syntax because it makes it clear that we're taking this variable and then we're taking in the same variable and adding one to it. So it should be pretty easy logically to understand that we're taking this variable and then we're taking the same variable again and adding one to it. But there's a shortcut for this. You can also use the same syntax right here. And this is much more common to do. So this is equivalent to this. Just like that. These are the same. So we'll use this syntax. Um, once again, pause the video real quick and change the syntax for the other statements so that they uh, use the same shortcut. All right, well, hopefully you pause the video. I'm going to just quickly then jump in and do these. Plus equals five. And we'll put this on there just so that we remind ourselves that that's a float. And incidentally, with comments, you can do this too. You can put them on the same line. Our money. And then um, this one as well. Plus equals one. Now we can just run it again. And there we go. Now we didn't print this out, but we don't need to. We know it's going to work. We know we can print this out. Um, but then we also want to take away money here when we buy a store. So when we buy a store, we also want to say, you know, money minus equals. So that's how we can take money away. And we'll say that it costs, uh, say, $3 for our store. And so now we can print the money again. And we will be able to see that we have $25 to start. We increment our day. We get some money. We buy a store and take away $3 for the store we bought. So 25 plus 5 is 30. Minus 3 is 27. That's what we should end up with. And you can see it right down there. So basic math, adding, subtracting, storing those values and variables. Uh, it's what makes an idle clicker kind of a good starting project and it's going to turn into a fun game so uh, this part's not really the most fun part especially if you have programmed before um, this might have just been a little tedious to watch go let me go through this but in the next lecture we're going to continue to learn more statements uh, we're going to expand our python knowledge and we'll continue to build up our game